This is our D-Trans Dogger Plugger series. We'll simulate a made basket with the red team taking the ball out of bounds. As soon as this happens, the corresponding defender needs to get up and in and jam the ball, making a tough pass. Because of our tagging up principles, as soon as the shot goes up, we will find our nearest corresponding player. The one man will allow the catch for the opposing team's point guard. As soon as this happens, we will get up and in, jam the ball. We will use a dig or a swipe at the ball just to buy enough time for our plugger to get back into a help or gap position. So we now have established two positions on the floor. The first is the dogger and the second is the plugger. From these two positions, we will be able to play containment defense down the court. Now that the plugger is back in position, the dogger will now take a step back and play containment defense. This will not allow the defense to blow by them down the sideline or through the middle and split the gap. The aim of this drill is to channel, channel the ball sideline to sideline. As we advance down the court, the dogger will continue to back up as the, as the offensive player comes down the court with the ball. Keeping in mind that the plugger will do so and always stay behind the line of the ball. If the ball is passed back, we will now simply switch roles. The plugger will now become the dogger and the dogger will simply become the plugger. Same rules apply, we can now not get beaten around the outside. We want to send the ball back to the plugger. If it gets compromised and the plugger or the dogger cannot keep up with the ball, we can simply yell switch and the, the position that what was the plug can now become the dog and the second and third line once we build this in will all make sense. Let's rebuild it. We will now add in the other two positions. As you can see, we are basically doing shell drill. Once the ball is passed in, we will go through those principles again. We will jam the ball, allow time for the plugger to get back. As you can see now, the easiest pass is the one down the sideline, and this is the one that we want the interceptor or stealer to take away. This will be simply done by being in the passing lane and up the line. The second person will now become a split or help defender. We, know, we all know that this pass over here is a dangerous one, and surely this person will be able to steal it. So what we have managed to do is shrink the floor. As the ball gets passed back, we know that the positions will change. We now have a, the dog and the plug will jump off. And if the person is getting beat on the outside, we now have the interceptor here. Or this person can also fill a plugging role. If we add the five man in, as you can see, the defender here will be back here as basically the commander of the defense. Any long passes over the top, the five men will be able to make a read whether they need to come and contain or not. Any long passes is a dead sprint from everybody else to get back to home. Once we advance the ball down the court, we will then slowly fall into our pack positions. As we know in pack defense, if you are on the ball, you are in denial, up and in. If you are not, you are in a gap. So all that player number one can see is help defense either way on the drive. As the ball is passed, we will move on the flight of the ball, arrive with the ball, and we will also move back into a gap.